This is Matt CR with a Home Theater Forum Hardware Review. I'm looking at the Popcorn Hour A110 today. Uh, the unit comes to me, in fact it came to me not looking so great, but inside the box it was beautiful. This is a brushed metal box, it really looks like a home theater piece. Uh, it has component outputs, a braided HDMI cable, a very nice remote control, looks like a typical Blu-ray remote control. Uh, mounting screws for an internal hard drive. It will support standard desktop or a laptop. Your power brick and a set of USB cables to mount it to a PC or to connect it to a wireless network if you decide to do that. Before we go too much farther, I really want to set this unit up. The Popcorn Hour has a lot of features, but I need to make it ready to record on my machine. Here I'm going to be recording primarily in 720p because my Avermedia TV card works better with it. So we're going to go into the setup options, and you're going to see there's lots of things that are available to us, but for right now I want to look at the audio and video functions. I'm going to change this to 720p or make sure that it's 720p. There are tons of options, uh, including 1080p uh, at 60 and 1080p at 24 hertz. And there's options to down mix or pass through the audio and video. This unit will handle DTS HD and Dolby Digital um, True HD, but since I'm recording it and my media card will not record either of those formats, I need to make sure it's down mixed into standard PCM. There are options here to map network shares, to look at applications that are built in, to see how you view it. I also want to change the way that Blu-ray and DVD is handled. Right now I have it on full uh, control for Blu-ray. I'm going to change that to simple so that when we look at our title here in a little bit, we can get to it much quicker. All right, now we've done that. Let's go to our uh, onboard hard drive. I'm going to go to the video folder. That's where I dumped almost everything. And using a program called YAMJ, or yet another media jukebox, I'm able to create this media wall that gives me a presentation of everything I have. When I look at TV shows, it gives me the layout that shows me seasons, um, file information, anything I want to know about that file or, or that uh, track, it tries to tell me so that I know what I'm going to watch and how I may want to watch it or if I've watched it or if there's a general review of it out there. But it doesn't just handle TV. Of course, it handles TV, movies, pretty much anything I want to give at it. And so I'm going to go back to the main and we're going to take a look at um, another title. I want to show how it handles a lot of mixed media. So we're going to take a title I like that's going to be Eve's Bayou. This is a title I wish would be reissued, but we're going to look at it because it's standard MPEG straight from the DVD. Um, it's non-anamorphic content, but the Popcorn Hour handles that great. It gives me the view right off the bat. When I change chapter stops, it remembers the names for the chapters. So I can see in the upper right hand corner, it moves from chapter to chapter with real fluidity quickly, much quicker than I can get at using anything else. And it shows me a poster wall, reviews, and information about that title. But let's say I want more than that. I want to see something else. So let's take a look at how it handles an ISO or a full format DVD. Here I'm going to use uh, Jurassic Park, which I have an ISO format. That's a straight DVD. And it's going to give me not just the movie itself, but also everything that's on that disc. Menu structure, extras. Here by pushing the menu option, I'm able to get back to the root menu and see it just as though I'd pop that disc into a DVD player. If I choose bonus materials, the menus act the same as they would on a DVD player. But what it does that a DVD player doesn't is that it moves from menu to title very quickly. In fact, so much faster than any DVD player I've ever found. And the reason for that is simple. Reading from a file is much faster than reading from a disc. It's also safer. It allows me to put those discs away so that I know that they're okay and watch them pretty much at my fingertips. Here you can see us go straight to a chapter. It's going to launch almost immediately within about a second of my hitting the chapter. And when I move forward, it immediately goes to that chapter. This is the kind of feature that really makes people look at network media tanks. And it's what makes them popular. But DVDs are easy. What if I want more than DVDs? Well, here I have another ISO on this, and that's an ISO of a Blu-ray, that of Up. This is one of my favorite titles, one I would 
probably buy multiple times if I had to, but I'm glad I don't. If you remember earlier, I set the Blu-ray play to simple mode. Now what simple mode does is mount the ISO and take me straight to the main movie. When I look at this, it tells me that the ISO is a 1920 by 1080 at 39.18 megabit. This is a full Blu-ray, so it's the full Blu-ray experience. And DTS HD, but right now it's outputting as um, two-channel PCM. When it moves from chapter to chapter on Blu-ray again, it has the same fluidity as though it was DVD, even though the bandwidth rate is much higher, the content is much beefier, so to speak, it still gets around. This is a great way to watch a title. But if I was watching it like that, I could just store it in something like MKV. Maybe I want a better experience. Well, this is where the Popcorn Hour can stand out. Going back to the Blu-ray and DVD options, I can choose full navigation. And what that does is it mounts the ISO the same way as if a physical disc was present. So let's go back to the title up. When I choose it this time, instead of going straight to the main movie, it's going to walk me through the Blu-ray experience. This means BD Java, access to BD Live, and all of those functions that we're familiar with um, from those of us who are fans of Blu-ray. Now the Popcorn Hour A210 does come with an option to add a Blu-ray player, a Blu-ray drive physically to the unit. That is a function that is available um, and it's one that maybe people would consider. I haven't because I have Blu-ray players almost everywhere else and as a network media storage device I don't necessarily need it here. But when I look at a Blu-ray that's available to it I get that perfect quality that screams this is what Blu-ray is really about. It looks good except I get must, much faster function. Much, much faster function. Um, my oppo is left completely in the dust by a unit like the popcorn hour but again this gets back to the obvious because i'm reading from a file even an iso file i can read from that file much faster than anything can read from physical media like a disc there's just not a way to make it as fluid with a disc as it is reading from a hard disk drive that's internal to this unit so I'm going to show you kind of how this works, and let's go to scene selections. I'm going to choose a scene. We're going to move a few scenes down and choose something like Russell coming to the door. Now when I choose this scene, um, it takes me to that scene, but it doesn't leave behind the Blu-ray experience. One of the reasons why people buy Blu-ray is not just the title, but the cool things that Blu-ray brings with it. When I hit next chapter, just like any other Disney feature, I get the nice pop-up, the pop-up that tells me what chapter I'm on, how far into the movie I am. I get the full Blu-ray experience, and that's really one of the things that makes a unit like the Popcorn Hour A210 really special. I've been a big advocate of people buying titles, and one of the reasons for that is because right now media is cheap. Um, up as a Blu-ray is a great buy. They're plenty of great buys out there on Blu-ray, but I've always dreaded just a little bit optical formats because of the risk of having any damage happen to them, and I've replaced tons of titles several, several times. Um, but something like the Popcorn Hour and this kind of function gets me everything I want um, with, with great ease, and I never have to worry about the media. I can stock it away and know that it's safe um, in my wife and I's closet and um, keep track of everything I have. I have no problems recommending the Popcorn Hour A210 to almost anyone. Um, it does not do uh, TV or Hulu or Voodoo, but what it does do, it does very, very well.